center. No, he's not. He's a power forward. Um, give me Duncan. Duncan's ability, um, to always track the ball, find the ball, find his teammates, uh, allow offense to run through him. It doesn't have to run to him. He's, he's more than capable of doing things with it if it does. His ability to always be looking forward. Uh, no matter where he has the ball, uh, his ability to score, he's got that little drop step. Uh, Tim Duncan, rebounding wise, he's just, he's a monster. Uh, I'll take Duncan and, and again, he's gonna, he's going to help us a little bit defensively, but he can do so many things offensively. Uh, he's gonna be a pain. And then my center, I, I mean, I gotta take Bill Russell. I know you're gonna say, oh, Will Chamberlain could score. Yeah, he could. And Russell always beat him. Uh, you know, Bill Russell just won. There's always something to be said for that guy that just wins. There are certain people in this world, uh, maybe they don't have the most gaudy stats. Maybe they don't, um, you know, always, you always look at him and just say, well, that's a, that's the, oh man, look the way he plays. It's just a pretty game or it's just a pretty, he just wins. He just wins. Bill Russell was a guy that just won. I mean, got as many titles as rings, did it as a player, did it as a player coach. I mean, he was going out and, and coaching the team while he played. After Auerbach, uh, gave it up. Uh, Bill Russell was a guy that, just amazing. And if I, if I have that team, so if I have Michael, or, uh, sorry, Magic, Michael, Larry Bird, Tim Duncan, and, and Bill Russell, you're not gonna score a ton on us because I've got Michael, I've got Duncan, I've got Russell, but we're gonna score 200 points a night. I mean, Russell's a monster on the boards. He's gonna own every board. He's gonna contest every shot. He's gonna give you fits inside. Uh, I, I mean, yeah, I'll feel pretty good about that, that starting five. Um, I, and maybe I can have LeBron come off the bench. I, I don't know. I, I hope that answers your question. That would, that would probably be my all time NBA starting five. There's so many good players. You put them in the right system. I, I guess the players that I would want, I would want guys like this that can play with other great players. Magic was always good at playing with other players. Um, Bird could play with anybody. I think Tim Duncan could play with anybody. Obviously, Russell and, and, and Jordan, w- with the way that they won, I, I want that. But this group, I, I think, um, yeah, we're going to be pretty, we're going to be pretty set with that starting five. Um, let's, let's, uh, let's see what's next. Uh, Clint, I started listening to your show back in January. I was still in high school. I still listen every week and it always brightens my day. I graduated from, well, I'm not going to read the name of your high school, in May, and now I am going to, away to uh, a college here in in, uh, in in the state that he is in. Uh, I'm going away to college in the fall. I don't want to sound like a, well, I'm not going to read that word on the podcast. We don't. I'm not saying that. I don't want to sound like a blank, but I have never been away from home much in my life, and I'm pretty nervous about it. Do you have any advice on making the move? Thanks and keep up the great work. That is from Chris. Chris, I wish I knew. Are you a male or female, Chris? Because the advice that I give you might change a little bit based on if you're male or female. Um, wow. You couldn't be Pat. You had to be Chris, huh? All right. Uh, does it say anything? I, does it graduated going to college? I don't want to sound. I, I would say, I would say the language would tell me it's a guy, but that means nothing. Um, no, it doesn't say if you're a male or female. All right. Well, let me think. Go, going away to college. You're going to go away to college, but you're going to a college from what you have said here. It looks like you're going to a college in the state that you live in. So you're, uh, you're going away to college. Let me, let me put this out there first off. Don't be tempted to try to come home every weekend. You're going away for a reason. You're, you're, you're not a million miles away, but you are going away a little bit. Uh, go up there and stay up there. Like you can come home for holidays and stuff, but if you're coming home every weekend, then it's kind of like you, you didn't really leave. Let me, let me, uh, think about this. Um, yeah, here's some advice for, for college students. I've had college students when I was coaching a couple of kids and they would ask me for advice and, and, uh, being at a high school, I can't always give them the advice I want to, but here's, here's some advice I can give you. Um, first off, you might be tempted to sign up for an early morning class because you're, you're like, Hey, if I, if I get up and, and do like a 7 a.m. class, I could be done at like noon and, and have the rest of the day to myself and do whatever I want. Um, because a, a lot of kids have to be to school that early for high school. So, I mean, what's the big deal? Uh, let me warn you on that. Don't do it. Don't do it. You will, you will think that you, that sounds like a good idea. And about halfway through the school year, you'll want to kill yourself. For one, the professors hate getting up that early just as much as you do. 
and you're going to be out doing whatever, you're not going to want to get, here's a little bit of advice. Uh, for the most part, not always, but corporate America kind of revolves around like a nine to five, maybe an eight to six kind of schedule, uh, somewhere in that ballpark. Start getting used to that now. Start scheduling your stuff now and start working those hours because unless you start working, you know, some weird shifts here and there, that's pretty much where corporate America kind of works. So you might as well start getting used to that idea. If you, if you do the 7 a.m. or if you go the other way and you say, Hey, I want to sleep in every day. So I'm going to, I'm going to schedule nothing but classes, uh, from like noon on, then you're not preparing yourself for what's coming after you get out of college. So start living your life kind of in that nine to five range and, and you'll start getting used to it. Um, I, I know mom and dad are going to tell you now, don't be going up to school and drinking those wine coolers. I, I know that's, I know that's coming. Uh, they're going to tell you not to drink. I'm not stupid and I'm not gullible and I'm not naive. I know what goes on at college. I know when you go up there. Uh, but, but let me get a couple things out there clear for you. Uh, first off, um, pour your own drink. Don't, don't leave drinks sitting around and go back and drink them later. And I don't, again, I don't know if you're female, but I cannot emphasize that part enough. Um, if you're going to drink and, and you probably are, uh, drink a little bit of water, mix in like some water Gatorade with your drink. You, you won't get, you know, sick if you're, if you're, if you are drinking and every, every few drinks you have like a drink of Gatorade too, uh, that'll probably help you. Um, don't mix your drinks. Don't be, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to drink this and then I'm going to drink this other kind of drink. You're going to end up getting in, in here. If you don't hear me on anything I say here, don't mix drinking with something else because that gets, that gets into a total different, that gets you like a trip to the ER and you, and you'll be like, Oh, that would never happen to me. Oh yes, it will. And here's, here's some other advice for you. When you throw up and you will throw up. Do not like get there are I don't know for the life of me I can't understand this. There are certain people on this planet that can't like control when they're going to throw up like they just like oh I got throw up right now. You couldn't just run like like 10 seconds before you didn't have that feeling that you could have ran to the bathroom and like got to the toilet. Uh but here's the thing w- when you do throw up don't be that that person that tries to catch it in your hands. Because do you really think you're going to catch it? And like fold it up and like put it away like discreetly. That is not ever going to happen. Uh, so let's not do that. Um, what else? Uh, don't be that loud, obnoxious, uh, emotional person when you do drink because no one's, everybody hates that person. We don't, nobody wants to hang out with that person. Um, couple of, th- uh, yeah, uh, high, uh, it's different from, from high school. In, in college, like in high school, if you aren't showing up to a class, like your teacher will come over to you, hey, you better start coming to class. You're going to be, college professors could care less if you ever come to class. Like if you don't come to class, that's just less work for me. Um, so what you have to do, I know this, this is going to sound crazy. You have to start being self-disciplined enough to say, if I need to be there, I had better be there because no one's going to babysit you at college. If you don't go, cool, don't go. I don't care. Um, you better figure out how to how to get along with your weird roommate, and you probably are going to have a weird roommate, or at least a roommate with with maybe different interests than what you have. You're going to have to, and, and your first instinct is going to be like, "Man, I got to switch roommates. I I got to get somebody else because this roommate is weird." I get it. I, I sympathize, but here's the problem. And unless unless they're like a safety issue, you're going to have to get along with people the rest of your life. You're going to have a boss you don't like. You're gonna have coworkers you don't like. Um, you're gonna, and it, it might not even be that they're a bad person. It might just be that well, they're different. They're they're someone I. They're not like a friend of mine. I mean, I don't know them. I mean, maybe maybe they are weird. I don't know. Um, but you're gonna have to get along with people the rest of your life. So you, you got to find a way to to make those things work, to to at least get through the day, at least get through when when you have to be together. Um, what else would I tell you if you're going away to college? If a if a professor offers extra credit. You do the extra credit. They don't have to offer it. If they do, it's free. You better take it and be smart enough, uh, to take advantage of that. Um, what do, I'm trying to think of when, like, we would take kids up to, like, basketball camp. Uh, if, if you, if you have, like, the public shower, like, you have the floor shower in your dorm, you better wear some flip flops in the shower. And if you don't, like, I mean, every day, 
Like you have those shower flip flops that you wear to the shower. If you don't, you better, better plan on catching something because you're going to. I will guarantee it. Trust me on that. And, uh, uh, and your feet aren't all you better protect in college. That's all I'm going to say about that. Um, what else? What else? Uh, don't, don't go to college and be like, oh, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna find love. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be like relationship. I don't know if you're a guy or girl. I, I'm gonna be relationship. So just go date, hang out. You're young. Enjoy dating. Have fun. If you're that person that's just locked on to, I'm gonna find a relationship and I'm gonna find the, the person I wanna spend the rest of my, man, get out of here with that nonsense. Um, you're gonna have a, a painful, painful college experience. And college, it's not, I know that when, when kids get to be 18, like we start pushing, uh, the direction of you've got to find your, your lifetime vocation at like 18, 19 years old and you've got to declare a major and you've got, you don't have to do any of that stuff. You, you go to college to start, uh, getting a little bit more prepared, find out what you like, find out where you're going to go. Uh, you don't have to declare and you don't have to start picking these and you sure don't have to pick a life partner, a, a spouse or whatever you think it might be. Um, at that age, just go enjoy, learn, open your mind, see some different things, learn some different things, find out what you like. Uh, that's, that's kind of the most important thing, is it? Uh, have fun. Remember, and kids kind of forget this. Someone, either you, uh, or, or, or your family, one, one of the, one of the two, someone's paying a ton of money for you to go to college. It, it's not free. I know some kids think it's free. Uh, it's not. Uh, you better get something out of it. Like you better benefit from it because someone's paying a ton of money. A, a lot of kids I know have, have mom and dad, they're fitting the bill for everything. Um, but if you're paying for it, you're going to be paying for that till you're like 35. So you might want to get something out of it because it's going to be, um, all on you. If, if mom and dad are picking up and if they are picking up the bill, you might want to, uh, Actually, you know, do your homework and go to class. Um, last, I guess the last advice I would give you, uh, get internships if they're available. Internships will help you, uh, find jobs in the future. It helps you, uh, get connections and, and find, uh, different people maybe within the workplace that, that might like you, might, uh, kind of take you under their wing, might show you some of the stuff that you learned. And when you go try to apply for a job in the real world, uh, that kind of stuff can be very, very valuable. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I hope that helps. Best of luck to you. Uh, good luck going up to that, uh, that school. We all, we, I, I know where it's at. Um, anyways, uh, Clint, do you ever feel bad for making fun of Peyton Manning for having a big head? That's, uh, from Mike. Uh, no, no, I guess would be my answer to that. I, I don't feel bad for, for, you know, we, we talk about that every once in a while saying Peyton Manning has a big head. I, I feel bad. I'll tell you who I do feel bad for though. Um, I feel bad for the people that are stuck behind Peyton Manning that are trying to see something. Like if you are at the movies and, and you're sitting there and you like, you go out to see like the, the new, uh, you know, the big action movie that came out and you're like, ah, oh, sweet got we got good seats and we reserved our seats and we're all set and we're ready. And then like you see Peyton Manning and, and the wife come in and he comes and sits right in front of you. I feel bad for that person. I feel really bad for that person because, uh, you're not going to see most of the movie. Uh, but no, other than, other than that, I don't, I don't really feel, um, bad about any of that. Uh, let's go to the next one. Uh, CD, uh, I live in, I live in Chiclayo, Peru. Peru? We have someone listening in Peru. Ch- and I'm, I'm sure I'm butchering that pronunciation of whatever city that is. Ch- Chiclayo? Chiclayo? Peru. And I love the daily dose. I am in high school. I love basketball, but I'm not sure I'm good enough to make our team here. Can you give me some advice? That is from Luis. Luis? Luis? Let, first off, let me point this out. Um, you're, you're a young person and uh, apparently a, a pretty intelligent person. You're asking advice. You can uh, apparently speak a couple of languages pretty fluently, and you're asking advice from someone who barely has a grasp of one. Let me just point that out real quick. Um, love basketball. Not sure I'm good enough. Here's the, here's the thing. Well, in, and in Peru, and I, I believe this is the case, uh, when you go to Europe or you, or you go to South America, some of these other countries, um, Asia, some of these other things here in the United States, we, do, we have sports a little bit different and we're starting to kind of, uh, migrate to that kind of type of thing too. But, um, 
here in the States, a lot of uh, our competitive sports, you play like uh, middle school and then you play high school and then you go to college and you, and you try to play co- uh, collegiately or whatever. Um, 